Hi guys. Um, today um, I'm going to be doing a really, really, and I mean a really quick video. Um, I apologise for the colour of my cam. I need to set my white balance up, um, but it's I look kind of orange. But um, anyway, what we're going to do today is to show you um, a queasy, a, a quick and easy step on how to make your photos pop even more. Um, just, you know, if you've got a flat image or anything like that, you just want it to quickly to pop um, and get it, you know, straight out to your, to your customers to the farting about. Um, I'm going to quickly show you um, how I do it. This is what most people do that I've seen around as well. So if you just open Photoshop, um, da, 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 da. open a photo. Use that one for now. Uh, this is my friend uh, Lauren, and um, that I did a shoot with uh, not long ago. Um, obviously, it's just the raw at the moment. Now, what you can do um, when you first open it, I'm using Adobe Bridge at the moment, which is what I just um, dragged in. Obviously, if you opened your own photo, you just go to File and then open at the top. And if it's in raw, it'll come up like this. In camera raw. Now, what you can do, you can obviously alter these these bars to your own liking. Um, I, to be honest, don't mess around with these as much. Sometimes I just I don't even touch any, and I uh, I'll do it all onto the actual um, platform itself. Um, so if I just press open image, just close the image now. Um, now really all you need to do is when you've got your image open you can do obviously what you what you like but all this video is uh, is just to tell you how to make it just pop a little um, now what I want to say is some images um, you can get away with what I'm going to show you um, sometimes it looks a bit kind of too vibrant um, too much saturate, you know, saturated and sometimes in, what I try to do uh, without that happening is to change it to black and white now that gives me the idea of how the photo is going to look so what we'll do first off is this that you just go over here on your adjustments and then you'll see like a little curve line uh, they're actually curves so you click that and then your curves will come up now what everyone likes to do and me personally is to make it an S shape um, I know you have just noticed you can't really see me talking like my mouth but it doesn't matter because my microphone's right in front of me I need to set it up right another time but you need to do it as an S shape obviously do it as your own liking so the bottom bit put down and then around the top put that up see now that's made the photo pop a lot more but with this the vibrance is a bit too heavy and uh, the contrast is a bit too much as well. So what I'm going to do is move this down slightly. See, even now that's that's all right. Um, but what I'm going to do with this photo is that's basically it. That's what you need to do is make sure it's like an S shape like that, and just have a little play around and see, you know, what you can do with it. Um, it like I said, it depends on different photos. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one is to actually change it to black and white. So on these adjustments again, you can see there's two little boxes, like one black, one white. Click that, and it just changes straight to black and white. And you can move these layers, eh, not layers, bars as much as you want. So I'll just make it a bit brighter by pumping up that red. And take the yellow down a bit. Oh, no, no, no. See, I don't even really need to do much more to this. Some, lots, some of them don't even do anything because the colours are not in that photo. And blue, does that do out like blue? No, they're not doing anything. See, but that, that to me, just close that and bring that forward. Looks, looks a good photo. You know, straight away that's taken me, what, a couple of seconds to do? All I did was make that edge a shop and then I decided if I want to keep it as in colour or put it as black and white and all I'd probably do with that now is soften the skin and that as it's a female model. But you know it's just a quick just a quick way of making your photos pop, making them look that just that little bit more better uh, if you want to get it out to your customer really quick. So 
So that's basically it, and I will uh, think of more videos to do very soon, and I'll get them up and uh, put them on YouTube for you. <coughs> Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, um, comment, and like this photo uh, video, should I say? Um, recently, I have become a full uh, full partnership now. So if you end up going to my channel, you you can tell I've got a banner. Um, I'm actually on getting it to work at the moment. It's working now, but um, it's like I've got a blog on there and I'm not going to have that anymore. I'm going to be changing it to my website. Now I've got a website. Uh, there's my Facebook, my Twitter, so and I'll also probably have my Skype on there as well. So come along, um, subscribe, and check out all my videos and see my new ones coming up. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I will see you on my next one. So see you later, guys.